Drum roll. Okay, it's not a very good drum, but this is my first inboxing. Unboxing. Uh, unboxing, thank you. <laughs> I don't do this all the time. I'm unboxing my Arrow Garden today. Come join me. So today I'm starting a series, my first series, I'm so excited, um, all about how to extend your gardening season or growing season. Um, obviously people, we always think about growing outside and everything. Some of us, like myself, are not lucky enough to have year-round warm weather, but today we're going to talk about growing indoors. I grow a number of fruits and vegetables indoors. If you um, haven't seen my strawberry tr tips and tricks uh, video, please check that out. Um, but that's me growing indoors. I do that hydroponically as well as in soil as you saw in the video. Um, but today I'm just going to focus all on hydroponics and growing inside. So this is, I love Aero Garden. I swear by my Aero Garden products. I've been using Aero Garden for, I don't know, 10 plus years. So, and I have, um, found it to be very helpful and a very simple way of growing hydroponically. Just a quick explanation. When you think of growing, everybody always thinks of planting a seed, putting it in the dirt and soil, and letting the sun have it do its thing. Well, this way, we're growing strictly by just water. The, the roots are sitting in water. There's an air bubbler in there that's giving the, the roots oxygen and helping it grow. We also have what's called LED lights grow lights so it's like a full spectrum grow light and it takes the place of the sun so that's the cool part so why we can do all of this inside and I always talk about how you can grow year-round well this is how you get to grow year-round and I'm making a mess so this one here is the harvest I love my harvest um, and before I unbox this I'm actually going to show you a harvest that I have and I need to I'm kind of letting it soak a little bit um, in my uh, water and white vinegar mixture. Um, I really like to do that a lot because it actually, I think instead of using soap, uh, the white vinegar is a lot better. Uh, it kills bacteria and it's less, doesn't have all those chemicals and junky things in it. You can use soap and water. So um, one thing I will encourage you though is that at least once a month that you kind of clean it out. And I'm gonna show you guys this here, what it looks like when you kind of let it go and get neglected there's like this calcium deposits that kind of grow so you want to make sure that you're cleaning it and making sure that you're on top of it so and i say that to say that um i always talk about how arrow garden is very simple easy mindless which it is but with anything you have to put effort into it right so cleaning it making sure your roots look good and everything. That's something that you want to stay on top of. So I just, I wanted to show that little quick thing. Okay, so here we go. So when you first open it, you're going to get all these cool things. So I love this because it gives you some recipes that you can use. Pesto, so when you think pesto, basil, right? So there's a little card for a basil recipe or a pesto recipe. Um, there's also ooh, tomato cucumber salad with mint recipe. We've got mints. You can grow tomatoes in this, guys. Peppers. It's really cool. So that's exciting. So you get that. And then it also gives you a, a quick setup guide. You know, it tells you all the things to do and how you need to set things up and all that good stuff. Tips and tricks and um, garden settings. That's a, that's a key thing with your lights, setting... Um, uh, reminders for when to add more water, reminders for adding plant food, which is a key thing that's going to be very important. Turning on your lights, turning your lights on and off, that's great and helpful. Um, again, speaking of lights, this is LED, so it's not going to pull a lot of power. So your energy bill is not going to get raised. It really is easy to get out, I promise. <laughs> Just a little extra today. Here we go. Woo, woo, woo. Right? Are you excited? 
Gourmet Herbs Packet, you get thyme, curly parsley, dill, basil, mint. Ooh, Thai basil. Oh my gosh, I love Thai basil, guys. So, but here we go. So, continuing on with our unboxing. So, here's your unit, and it's really that easy. Um, before I get into your unit, just so you know, there's a little adapter here. Little teeny, little plug in right there for your power cord. Then, there we go. Be careful. These are pretty, fairly durable, but you know, you don't want to go crazy either. Just try them out the box. Alrighty. So this is it, guys. This is, oops, this is pretty much it. So, just remove the tape. Here. Yeah. Move that. So, here is your little cover for where you add your water. And I'll show you that in a second. So this is where you'll put the water in, and it has a little fill line. Um, the harvest typically, not typically, the harvest has six uh, holes for uh, you to put each pot in. So you can have up to six on the back. Turn this over. In the back, you'll see here. This is just basically your connection to the power, or um, the power ba powered base, um, and so you can remove it. You're able to remove it out, so you can clean it like the other one I showed you. And this actually powers your your I guess some people call it an air stone or your bubbler because again you're going to need to have oxygen generated at the root portion. So that's basically it. This is your water reserve. The water goes into here. You get your base on there, your, your top layer to hold your pods. And you put that guy there. And you're all set. So, I'm just gonna flip this back up. Put that there on the base, and it sits there nicely. Now, oh, and then this, your power cord here. I guess I'll go ahead and plug it up so you can see what it looks like. All set. Ooh! Ah, and we've got light. All right. Okay. So, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Oh, and then here. There's a little toggle here or a tab that you kind of push. Just kidding. What just happened? Oh, I touched the button in the front. I'm going to show you those. Those are very sensitive. So, um, you literally just push this in and you're able to raise it up. A nice amount because if you've seen herbs growing you'll, you'll know that they grow pretty tall as you can see from the picture they really do grow very tall so you're gonna need to adjust it um, based on how tall they're growing how high they're growing so this guy here so we're always gonna start down on the lowest setting because they're gonna be little teeny babies and little teeny seeds and they're you're not gonna want to have them um, get what's called leggy. So what happens is, is when your light source is too far from your seedlings, they tend to stretch up a little higher and longer searching for the light source because it wants the light. And as it does that, they get what's called leggy. So they get really long stems that tend to not be very stable because it can't hold that weight. They can thrive. I have had leggy plants before, but that's not what you want. I'll go into more of the settings in a little bit, um, but let's just get started, okay? All right, so I've got my water here. Now, um, a word about water. So I've heard people who like to use distilled water, and I think distilled water is perfectly fine in here, um, but uh, you could tap water is fine. Uh, I have hard water, so the hard water basically is just gonna, over time, gonna cause what I showed you earlier. Um, those calcium deposits and that little bit of buildup. So um, you just wanna be on top of it a little bit more. I also like to, um, when I have my water, pour it in the jug and 
let it sit for 24 hours. That way, all the chlorine and whatever other added chemicals uh, over time will be leached out over, and it takes about 24 hours to do. So you can use straight tap water. I have never had an issue, but again, I know a lot of people like to use their uh, distilled water. We're just gonna go ahead and pour that in. See, that water light is still on, but luckily I have another one sitting right here ready to use. And it's going to get me right up to my fill here line. All right? Woohoo! It's nice and blue, so it's letting you know that it's all good and it's all filled. All right? So, my fun part now. So. I, as you know, it came with these gourmet herbs. I got the salsa garden. Um, another thing I really, really love is tea. So I was excited to find this fresh tea one. Also, Italian herb garden. Oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorites. I love this guy. Um, this is my, my set and I'm so excited. Let's go with my Italian herb. Well, there's really no prime reason, although you do want to do the taller ones in the back and I'm gonna ooh, I assume it's gonna show you I should be opening this up for guys to see as well excuse me all right so when you get these little packets ah! all right so when you get these packets all of this goodness comes in it comes up with these little domes for each pod get your plant food is very important it gives you um, food and water reminders little tips that you need to know a little booklet tips for growth um, how to oh cool it shows you how to how to cut when you want to um, harvest them because there are certain ways to cut sometimes I just kind of clip or just use my fingers but I know that there's <laughs> particularly an ideal way to, to cut certain um, fruits veggies and and herbs but um but there you go so it's some really great tips there you kind of learn along the way um these are our little pods Take them all out. be careful as you do it so that the seeds don't fall out but I, although i've never had that problem but yeah better to be safe than sorry so now when you look at the pods you'll see for instance uh the mint says medium and the italian parsley says tall now that's going to be key because um that you place these in your your unit based on that so the tall ones you want to put in the back and the short ones you want to put in the front so my mint is a medium so i'm going to put this guy right here and i should probably should have showed you a little better where the seeds are oh we can see seeds in here let me show you now the oregano it's so cool you can yeah there we go focus you can see the seeds right there there's about ah oh, stay focused please there's three seeds there and so this one is a short so we're gonna put the short and that front hole there there you go my basil I'm gonna put in the back because it's a tall guy and this just does not want to focus it just wants to stay out of focus for me give me a hard time my time <laughs> give me a hard time short goes in the front savory now this was misprinted it does not say how big but savory should be a medium one so i'm gonna put that so there you have it got your basil your mint oregano thyme savory unfortunately that one's not labeled another thing with what is labeled on the front so not only does it tell you where in the arrow garden to put it but it also gives you an idea of when it should start sprouting. Now for the basil, it says between six to 12 days. I didn't have very good luck with basil. My basil tends to grow, like I usually start seeing sprouts maybe like within the first week of me putting it in the pot, like a little teeny sprout coming up. So that's exciting. Um, oregano, I find takes a little longer to start sprouting, which is okay. Um, everybody has different uh, experiences I think mint 
Men can be a challenge sometimes. Uh, let's think of another. Cilantro can take forever. So I, I try to tell you people that when you see them sprouting and then you see others not sprouting, don't lose hope um, because they eventually will. They're going to do what they're going to do. It's nature. It's, and it's really not much on your part that you have to do to get them to start sprouting. Um, now it does help. Now these little dome guys here, these will actually help with um, humidity um, to get your seeds nice and moist and keep that, so you put that cap on there. You've got the fluid at the bottom and it creates uh, a humid environment to encourage those seed coats to start loosening up and um, get the seeds sprouting. So that's one thing that you can do to kind of help that. So a quick note, getting back to what I was saying about there's really not much that you can do, um, which it isn't because nature's gonna do what it's gonna do. Um, sometimes people get really upset and say, oh, my seeds didn't sprout, so this thing doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. I keep in mind that, uh, oh, here we go. Keep see, Not every seed is going to sprout. And it's not an arrow garden thing. It's not a, oh, this package of uh, high mowing seeds didn't work or what have you. It's not that case. If any, with any seed or with anything in life, when it's growing and developing, you may have uh, times where they may not develop, where they're not viable. Um, and it usually shows you on the box the percentage, um, uh, the germ germination rate of percentage, where it's a 70% rate that it will germinate for the basil. Uh, the savory has an 83%, thyme is 50%. So. They will, I will tell you that if you do have an issue, if they never end up sprouting, Aerogarden will replace it for you. So you just go ahead and just contact the customer service. So never fear, but don't ever just think, oh, that unit sucks or it doesn't work because my seeds didn't grow. Another thing with that is, is that it takes time too. Sometimes this is just a guesstimate here on the, uh, the pods to give you an idea of what to expect, but sometimes it could take a little longer. Okay, one other thing I forgot to mention. Um, let me turn this off. I'm sure I had that on the whole time. <laughs> um, one other thing I, I wanted to mention also was feeding. We cannot forget feeding. So these guys, the minute you're, you've got your garden all ready to go, you're gonna give it its first feeding. Um, this guy, these guys get fed every two weeks. So this will be the start of our two week period. And um, again, as I mentioned earlier, the little leaf will blink to let you know that it needs to be fed so give it a good shake and then you're going to look at the back of it and it'll tell, tell you i'll zoom in on this it'll tell you how much it needs to be fed so this is a six pod and so it wants to eight excuse me eight ml um so now back in the day for some of you guys who may remember arrow garden from a thousand years ago they used to give us these little green cups I have no idea why they don't do that anymore, but um, I guess, you know, again, it was wasteful and um, probably unnecessary, so uh, you can use your own little device here. Like, I just got this from the pharmacy. It's a little, I don't know, if those of you who have kids, remember you give them medicine, or maybe you remember getting medicine this way. Um, but anyway, so it has all your measurements, your readings, uh, tablespoon, teaspoon, what have you, or the ML. So again, for the six pod, you're going to use eight ml every two weeks. I'm going to get this guy off, scooch this over. And that's what this is for as well. So I'm going to measure out, don't do what I did. <laughs> so I'm just going to do four and four. This one goes up to five, so I'm going to do four and four. Squirt that on in. Four. There you go. I've made a mess on my hands. Squirt that on in. Now, keep in mind when it comes to food, plant food, and all that good stuff. Um, I had a paper towel somewhere. <laughs> Can't find it. Um, less is more. You never want to feed them too much. Um, you know, don't ever look at it and go, "Oh, they're growing so slow. So let me feed them more." and see if it'll sprout them quicker. It will not, they will die. I have, not in my air garden, but I've had it in my actual garden where I gave it too much food, plant food, too much fertilizer. Um, the roots will burn and it'll just be um, a not good thing. So um, less is always more. 
Um, and one beautiful thing that I do love about hydroponic growing is this, if you ever make a mistake, all you gotta do is just pour the water out, rinse out the basin or the, rinse out the bowl, refill it with water and go ahead and do what you need to do. So um, I do that oftentimes when I see uh, plant problems like leaf issues or what have you. You can tell if it's getting deficient um, or any random problems. All you do is just pour out the water and refill it and do what you need to do. So remember they eat every two weeks or you need to feed them every two weeks so to speak. Um, and this green guy will be blinking so you just tap it and you're all set and it'll let you know that it's all good and then in two weeks from there it'll start blinking again. And then the same with add the water. You're gonna pour the water in. Now you don't even really have to tap that button. Pour the water in and then the light will go away. So here we go. Let's get our light back on. Here we are. This guy up. And um, that's pretty much it. So this is how we start it. So when you wanna start a new garden, you're gonna hold your finger over that leaf for about five seconds. Once you see it blinking like that three times, then that means that it knows that you want to start a new garden. All of your presets are all set and you're good to go. Now this button here, the on and off, the light button, that's a temporary thing. So the LEDs will turn on and off as you touch that button um, and it won't affect your cycle. So don't have, you don't have to worry about that. Like if you ever just have to turn the lights off for any reason, you can do that. It's not going to harm your, pl your plants or anything. Once the lights, uh, once pressed, it will stay on or off, and then it'll, the next day, it'll go right back on to its on off, off cycle. Now, how you wanna set the timer on, so I tend to set my timer for 5 a.m. in the morning. That's when I want my plants to get started, and then the light stays on all day, like regular daytime, so they're on my schedule. So what you're gonna do is touch the light for about three seconds, and then you see how it does that blink thing? And that's going to let you know, let the arrow garden know that this is the time that it wants to turn on. So I think this is amazing and fun and I love it. And this is just the beginning. And so I'm going to continue to keep you guys posted. Um, this is just video one. And so moving forward, I'm going to give you maybe a two week progress and let you know how things are growing and how things are doing. And um, we'll just go from there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informative and uh, I encourage you to look out for my future videos with the Arrow Garden and seeing how my, my things are growing. I'm so excited to get them going and growing herbs and cooking more with my gardening and foodiness because I love food. <laughs> um, but if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a big, big thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I have no idea why you haven't, please subscribe. Um, especially if you're new. That's, that's why you haven't subscribed because you're new. You don't know about me yet. I'm Becky, the foodie gardener. Um, I garden again, I garden and I love food. So go ahead and subscribe and I'll check you later. If you thought this video was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch more videos like this in the future. And as always, here's wishing you great eats and happy gardening.